What's up everybody, Danny from Misty Frog Acres. I know it's taken me too long to get my build video made, so I thought I would just shoot you a little overview of everything here. I did the 1975 Power King conversion. Um, I kind of started with the idea back in October, and then I bring it to fruition in February. So it was kind of my winter project. Um, it started off as an idea to make a modular battery system that would drop in between all three of my tractors, which it still can do, but uh, taking it in and out of the tractor is one of those things that you would rather not do, so you don't want to do it, and I haven't needed to yet, so anyway, but I can, so that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I got some lights on it, um, just standard headlights. Um, I also have a rear light in the back here, a rear work light here, and then also an 8,000 watt inverter. That'll power the entire barn, including heat lamps, scalder, plucker, anything I need to do down in the barn. So this is basically a rolling generator. It could actually power the whole farm if I had a uh, switch to switch over uh, to it if I wanted to, which I might install one of these days. It wouldn't be for very long, but I could definitely do it. So what we got inside of here is the modular battery. That's 23 cells that make a 72 battery, 72 volt battery. Um, on top here we have the BMS, the main fuse, and then a fuse box and that controls the rear lights, the driving lights, and the instruments. Um, also a few other spots. I had a little inverter in there and then I decided it wasn't powerful enough. So I went with the big boy, which is mounted back here underneath the seat. Um, this project has a pretty steep learning curve. I uh, decided to do this all on my own um, with some help from uh, just some uh, knowledge help from other people but I did the entire conversion on my own. Got this vinyl rain and dust cover that goes over the top of it um, to keep out any extra rain, dust, etc. And then back inside of here uh, is the Alltrax controller, all the switching, all the electronics, all tucked in there. If I were to do it again, I probably wouldn't make it all super tight like that. And I'd probably move the batteries, um, spread them out a little bit more across the tractor, but I wanted it to be modular and uh, that's why I did it this way. Over here on this side, I have the 600 watt DC to DC converter. Um, it can do 50 amp max. 12 volt output so um, it's great for just standard electronics in the vehicle then down over here we have the original um, hydraulic pump which is spun off of the clutch flywheel um, and then back here is the controls for that I replaced all the hoses I redid all of the valves um, just to make sure that this baby was up and running for the season. I uh, started off with a smaller charger than this one, but I decided to go with this big boy. It's a 20 amp um, charger because the 3 amp charger just takes too long. So say you ran out of power, you wouldn't want it to take three days to charge it. Um, so it, it actually charges in like an hour and a half now. So I can stop at lunch and come back with a full charge. I have yet to even bring it down below 75 amps or 75 volts, excuse me, which is pretty amazing. All right, so that's the quick overview of it. Hit me up if you got any questions.